You know, we are all creatures of habits. We get used to doing things a certain way, saying things a certain way, and writing things a certain way. I don't know about you, but when writing fiction, I sometimes use the same word over and over again. One of the biggest words is said, of course. He said, she said, they said. Usually, when I'm finished with my first draft, I have a list of words I actually go back and look at. And then I start changing them. Sometimes it's not easy to find the right word that you can actually place in that word's stead. Well, I've got a website you can go to, and it's a website I've been using for a couple of years now. That website is Word Hippo. Not only can you find synonyms, you can find antonyms, which is great. Let's go ahead and jump to the website and I'll throw in a few words and you can see exactly what I mean. As you can see with Word Hippo, you have synonyms, antonyms, definition, rhymes, sentences, translations, find words, word forms, and pronunciations. Myself, I just use the synonyms and the antonyms, sometimes the definitions. So let me go ahead and throw a word in and let's find out what the synonym is. Always find. You can even hit. Always. Now you know exactly how to pronounce the word. They have it in context as an adverb. You can go down for more. Here is how always is used as an adverb, as an adjective, and a noun. So you can find different words which will all mean always. Sometimes there's a more where it'll go down further. And here it is also as an adverb. And we can go down on that. There's another adverb. See, this one was repeatedly or constantly during a given period. This one is forever for all future times. And here's it as an adverb again. And this is funny here. I will always be your father, Luke. Hint, hint, hint. Another way to use it as an adverb, in any event, as a last resort, as an adjective, unchanged by time, and here's different ones, and this one has a more, so it'll keep going, and as a noun. An affirmative answer, especially in voting. So there's this one. Now, what if I want to use it as an antonym? Which is exactly that. It is the opposite. So you can see all the context. And it has adverbs and it has an objective meaning. And the same thing, different words that all means the same thing. Let's do a definition. As you can see, 
noun. And it has similar words as well as examples for using animosity. Let's see if there's a rhyme for it. Here is a rhyme for animosity, popularity, security, eternity, great for poems. How about in a sentence? Okay. Here you have many sentences that you can use it in, as well as examples from classical literature. Like I mentioned earlier, I do have a list of words that I will go through and take out of my draft before I get down to editing it. I enjoy using Word Hippo. Now, of course, with Grammarly, it'll let me know different words that I can use, especially if I've used the word already in the same sentence. But, but sometimes the word Grammarly might offer me, eh, it doesn't work for me. So I may change it, I may not, I never know. The next time you're trying to come up with the perfect word, why don't you check out Word Hippo? The link is below. And until next time, I will see you later.